Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Season 40, War 11. Today we're taking on LVT. Two wars left in the season, including this one, and we are in desperate need of a win in order to secure Masters. So, a team today, APOC, Cable, and IDOOM making his Alliance War debut for me. We're going to be on Path 7 in both Sections 1 and 2. Really appreciative, by the way, of my battle group planners for this war. So, my availability was basically nothing yesterday, which was Saturday. Uh, and they were able to accommodate my schedule by giving me a path in which nobody was going to be waiting on me at any point. So this was at like, I don't know, 10 or 11 last night. I was absolutely exhausted, but I didn't want to wait till the morning. I just wanted to get these fights over with. So this is a Crossbones on Node 7. Easy APOC fight. Shout out, by the way, to Lizer, uh, whose Crossbones this is. A very talented player and overall great person over in LVT. So we used an advanced power boost and mutant power back boost again just to make this as quick as possible. It's a very easy uh, fight with APOC. Saw me hit into his block there to clear the flourish buffs before I launched the special two. I really don't want to push him to the special two because that will probably result in me taking it on the block and having to uh, pot up afterwards. And then after that the uh, power back boost gave us another special two ready and then uh, we finish him off pretty easily. Alright, so next up we have a Rintra here on 16. I almost went in here with Cable, however, I decided that between Mystic Dispersion and the guaranteed chance that he was going to neutralize, you know, my regen and my power gain buffs, that it was probably safer to use APOC here. Right there, I got super lucky. He resisted both hits of my initial heavy because I was too slow on it. Uh, he could have just pounded me right there, but uh, I lucked out big time here. So we, uh, the advanced power boost still active from the previous fight, so we are going to start off here with a special 2. Uh, you know, using heavies, of course, liberally to knock him down uh, to keep those mystical charges in check. And then we are doing, uh, we are t paying careful attention, rather, to keep him away from his wall, because bad things happen uh, whenever you are at a wall with Rintra. We got the special ones, we have all four debuffs active fight is, is well in control here. We are not only winning the health race, we are absolutely destroying the health race. Heavy countering his special ones or his heavies when we can, uh, just to keep those debuffs refreshed. And then I think uh, one more special one probably finishes this fight off, if I remember correctly here. So uh, yeah, again, you know, Cable probably could have done this maybe even a little bit faster than APOC. Uh, however, I really felt like uh, the the safer option was APOC here, and and also I'm kind of like really bad at at dodging uh, Rintra's special two, uh, so I, I feel like, I figured there was almost a guaranteed chance that I was going to take one to the face with Cable. So this was the better option for me personally. All right, next up, we do have a Cable fight. This is a thing on Node 33. This fight I knew was going to be much faster with Cable, and I dueled uh, against Thing with Cable to try and figure out the best way to keep his rock stacks in check while also managing uh, my degen on the heavy. So I'm not going to use any specials in this fight. Uh, normally I would use the special 2 with Cable, however it places a concussion debuff, a pretty potent concussion, and that really screws with the rock stacks generation. So uh, I made the made the decision to, to kind of skip over that extra bit of damage, especially from the incinerate debuff, uh, and just go with the guaranteed rock stacks uh, on my basic attacks and my heavies here. So I you know we do have these special three on hand if things become a little bit problematic, but as you can see, we are, you know, 20 seconds into the fight and he is absolutely melting from all of the degens here. So just keeping a careful eye on his power meter and doing full basic combos instead of heavies when I know that I need to push him over to 15. Other than that, you know, the fight is, is basically nothing. So really actually excited to get to use Cable in a war fight. That was pretty great. All right, last fight of the war for me is a Havoc on node 43. We're going to go in here with Iodoom, pop an invulnerability boost just in case he gets super stingy with his special attacks as he is sometimes known to do. So with the make a stand node, uh, Idoom is a great counter for this because he can heavy as part of his basic combo, so we will pretty much always have protection down in this instance. Uh, we also will be getting some energy vulnerability debuffs up on Havoc when he gains two prowess at once from those special ones. Uh, other than that, this is, you know, this is a longer fight just because, uh, you know, Havoc has a lot of energy resistance, so he's going to be naturally resistant to a lot of Doom's attacks other than the power burn, which is where most of your damage is going to come from in this fight here. 
So I do go with like the shorter rotation as you saw, just spamming special twos rather than going for the special three and then special locking with a special one and, and kind of doing a bunch of intercepts up to that special two here. So, uh, you, I mean, you can definitely approach it either way. I think this was just what I was comfortable doing, you know, late at night while I was tired here. So shout out to uh, Panam and Pete, by the way, another fantastic player over in LVT. I don't think this Havoc is max sig. I want to say it was like 80 or 100 when I checked. Not, not you know, it doesn't make a difference because we are always going to have our armor up buff here and Havoc has no way to remove it from his basic abilities or from the node. So we are completely immune to the plasma detonation damage regardless of what the sig level is here. So I think one more, um, one more special two ends up finishing the fight here and we finish with a nice full yellow bar. Not that it matters because it was the last fight. Anyways... All right, that's it for me, and we did come away with the victory. Shout out to LVT. Uh, four kills, zero deaths for me, and our record has improved to six and five. We have one more war left in the season. A win uh, absolutely guarantees us Masters, I think, at this point. Uh, I'm not sure what a loss would, would push us down to, but uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. So, folks, if you enjoyed this, let me know by hitting that like button, of course, and be sure to subscribe for access to all future videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.